Hey everybody, how you going? Steve here, finally back uh, here on Command Center Wargaming. All right, guys, haven't posted a couple of days here on YouTube, um, but I've been pretty active on Instagram. I've been going through and basically doing a lot of painting, a lot of assembly. So I've just gone through, I've assembled the chaos side of my Shadow Spear box, and um, I'm basically doing up my Black Legion and Alpha Legion army. I've got a game next week with Maddie, which should be really cool. Um, he's using Imperial Guard, I believe. He might change it, but whatever. Um, and um, and I've basically put a little bit of a list together, or maybe not a full list, but sort of maybe that three quarters. I was looking for your advice, actually, if you guys had any ideas um, to help me finish off the list, that would be awesome. Um, but if not, whatever, I'm probably going to work, work on it a little bit more tonight. And uh, I've been going through and just hammering out um, Alpha Legion schemes. So, like all day, what I've basically been doing is just basically going through and work on an Alpha Legion, so I've got like the new kind of Alpha Legion scheme, um, and then I've got kind of like the uh, the old sort of scheme, the more sort of like aqua blue scheme, uh, which is really good, and, um, and my infantry here, which are looking really cool as well, so that blue there. I'll put some photos up on the, um, up on the Instagram, and uh, over there in the video, I'll edit them in in that corner. Um, should be awesome, but um, I'm pretty happy the way they're coming along, and uh, I kind of wish that uh, I had my Hydra Elite in um, in that scheme now as well, because um, that would look really cool. These still look pretty cool though, because they're lighter blue, and it makes sense, because like back in the Horus Heresy, like they were kind of like lighter blue, whereas like it's difficult because in like the 40k era, it's kind of like you've got the really really dark blue with green, which is what I've done these Hell Brutes as. Um, and then, oh, that was close. Um, and then, and then basically you've got the, um, that kind of like aqua sort of color, um, that's on the, uh, on the, 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 I think it's Teeth of the Hydra book or something like that, which looks really awesome as well. So, and it's like, so like some of the creature stuff looks really awesome in the, in the, um, in the dark blue and green, but it looks crappy in the light blue. And um, that's the problem with it. Like, the Marines look fine in the Aqua Blue from 40k, but when you start to put the monsters in the light blue, it doesn't really work, because, like, the monsters, you know, in my opinion anyway, should be, like, um, you know, it should be, should be darker colours, right? It should be going for, like, darker colours, um, which should be cool. So, but anyway, so they're, they're coming along. I've done more work to my Hydra Elite as well. Um, so I'm not going to do a video of that, but what I'll do is I'll just basically go through and put it up on the channel. I'll do like a showcase like I did with the Calgar, and, um, and it should be pretty awesome. And I'm um, really having fun with the Shadow Speed Box. What I'll do is, uh, I'm very tired now, but I'll probably do an 800 subscriber video uh, tomorrow, because I'm off tomorrow as well. And uh, so I'll do another video, and um, what we'll do is we'll have those prizes, and then I'll marry in the Shadow Speed Box sprues in with those. Uh, sorry it's a little bit late everybody, but uh, like I've just been flat out and then, you know, like I, I really want to play a game of Warhammer because, you know, I spend a lot of time on the channel, a lot of time with my three three actual jobs and I'm just like, look, Shadow Spears out. I want to get my army together. It started off as, um, as, uh, as, uh, as a loyalist army, basically that I was putting together with only Adonis. We were chatting about it over the, over the Facebook. Um, but then, like, as I sort of got going on, I worked out this color scheme for, uh, uh, Black Legion, and, uh, I'll be doing some of that up on the channel as well, when I get Abaddon, I'll be doing, like, some videos on painting him and everything, and I think it's going to be pretty awesome, I don't think anyone's thought of it yet, I think it's going to be pretty unique, uh, it will be very experimental, and I will have to use my protective gear, um, which I've got here, so that's fine now. Um, the, the, the original idea for my list, though, was, was going to be Loyalist, but then I switched it to Chaos, and, and um, you know, and originally it was meant to be mostly, like, Black Legion, but then supplemented for Alpha Legion for the range stuff. So, like, we've obviously, obviously got the new Havocs coming out, um, you know, all that kind of stuff, and it's just that, you know, that plus one to hit, you know, so f for you to get hit, you know, it's just, it's just fantastic, like... Um, and, you know, it just doesn't make sense with Black Legion, because they've got the move and assault. Um, it just doesn't make sense, make sense to me to have any ranged units that are going to be shooting outside of 12 as anything other than Black Legion. 
Because I'm looking at the Black Legion thing and I'm just like, yeah, like, like their, their trait's really good. Like, their faction trait's really good. And Abaddon's cool and his model looks good. But I'm kind of thinking, is he really that good? Because for the price that it costs to take him, you know, he gives me 2 CP, but he only gives me a, a re-roll to hit on Black Legion, right? He doesn't give me a re-roll to hit on anything else. So the price it's going to take me to take him is 240 I could have literally a Terminator Lord and a Sorcerer, two different characters with more wounds, split targets, you know, and um, for that for that kind of cost, and um, that way with my with my Sorcerer I could cast Prescience and all the other psychic shenanigans around there on my Terminators when they come in if they're Alpha Legion, plus being Alpha Legion like when the Terminators come in I'm gonna put Combi Bolters uh, and Combi Plasmas on them. And then they're going to just be dishing it out. They're going to land in there, um, you know, and then you're going to be dishing it out. So, you know, all the while being plus one hit for the enemy, you know. So, like, oh, yeah, why bother charging, you know? Just, like, just, de you know, deep strike in there, around right about there. Or do the forward operatives if they're, if they're close enough or you think they're going to be close enough or whatever. And then just start, you know, railing down. And, you know, with that plus one a hit on the Terminators, 12 away... You know, for Alpha Legion, that's really, really, really going to make some... You know, that's that's going to make them a lot harder to hit. Right? That's, that's like, no joke. Um, and then there's, like, a psychic trait here. So I've got I've got my decks with me um, because I wanted to talk about this. And this is sort of, like, why I'm going more Alpha Legion because originally these these Terminators were meant to be Black Legion. Um, but, you know, and, the, and the Terminators were meant to be Black Legion and they were meant to come down with Abaddon. And, um, and basically, but then it's just like, well, so the thing is, you could cast Diabolical Strength on them, where they get two to the model strength and one to the attacks. So the Terminator's coming in, you equip them, you equip them with, uh, with uh, Power Axes, why not? It's five points via Chapters Approved. Yeah, you already paid 28 points for a Terminator or whatnot. So, you know, you might as well chuck another, and then 11 points for a Combi Plasma. So you might as well chuck another five points for a Power Axe. You know, I mean, think about it. So then they go up to, I mean, like, the models will be the Hydra Elite, but I'll just be basically going through and proxying them in just for the, the normal Terminator rules. So I'll just go over there and just quickly look at that. Just to double check, I'm pretty sure it was two attacks. Yeah, Chaos Terminator is two attacks and the, and, the, and the Captain gets three. So it's just like, bam, you know, like just go in there. The strength goes up to six. Because the strength four hook goes up to six, you know. So they're gonna be they're gonna be crapping a lot of crap. And then you go through and you cast um, prescience on them, adding one to the hit rolls. And then you terminate the lords there, and he's doing re rolls of one to hit. So what's the point in Abaddon? <laughs> you know. So you literally have those two guys coming out of the terminators. You fit more in your army. But it's just a shame because I really want to play him because he's coming out. I want to get him. I pay him up. And I want to play him, but like, it's always, as you guys know, it's always like that sort of balance between, you know, being, getting your list uber competitive, not uber competitive, but competitive, but at the same time following the rule of cool, you know, like, I don't want to go through make lists that are, you know, just outright cheese lists, um, you know, otherwise I'll be taking nine demon princes and nine squads of cultists between the, the chaos book the, uh, you know, the, the Thousand Sons book and the Death Guard book, right? Because that breaks the three uh, data sheet rule, right? Because they're from different codexes, so they're different data sheets, right? Um, so basically, I could do that, but I mean, you know, it's no fun, right? You know, it's just no fun. Like, not only will my opponent get upset because they're just going to get, like, rolled, but what's the, fun, what's the point? It's no fun for me, like... I like to play Warhammer, I like to make it fun, you know, like, like granted, like, oh, I want to win, I want to do good, I want to have a competitive, but I've also got to have fun while I'm doing it too, you know, I don't want to just hold, like, field like a whole, you know, sort of board of, you know, Zangors, goat men with discs and, you know, and, 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 and three demon princes, three bloody, you know, thousand sun sorcerers and all that kind of stuff, which I'm thinking of adding into this army, uh, but I want to get more boots on the table, um... But yeah, so like that's basically that. So it's uh it's good. And then so this is the thing with the Terminators, you give them the mark of Slanesh, right? And the mark of Slanesh, you can use that stratagem on them where they shoot again. So then you're pumping out like all those like plasma shots from those from those Hydra Elite Terminators. 
You use a stratagem, you, you, you go again. I'm going to be taking uh, 40, 40 cultists, Alpha Legion cultists. And um, basically what I'm going to do is, uh, again, Slanesh keyword. So 40 of them are going to shoot. They're going to conceal positions up the table. Then 40 of them are going to shoot, right? Then I'm going to use the Slanesh keyword. And basically, um, that's, you know, 80 shots. 80 shots. And then, you know, that that's that's epic. Um, and then, you know, like what I'll do is I'll, I'll if, if I don't get first turn, they get blown off the table. Then what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll put, um, I'll, uh, I'll use the uh, Tide of the Traders stratagem and have them all come back in full strength. So 200 points just come back on my table for free. Like, why not? You know? So um, that's, that's going to be awesome. Alpha Legion all the way, like for, for real. So I'm just thinking like, you know, why, like what, aside from it being cool, you know, like, and, and, and have it, have it on having an awesome model, what's the point in using Black Legion when you could do this? So, um, you know, it, it's all about that plus one a hit as well. Your whole army gets it, you know? So, my plan is to have, like, a bunch of uh, Hellbrutes. So, I'm going to have uh, a fire base up the back of the table, right? Um, done by, with two Hellbrutes, right? And a, Dre a Dreadio D Dreadnought with a heavy twin las cannon. So for those of you who don't know what a heavy twin las cannon does, and yes, I just got the uh, some spare las cannons off a predator that became a uh, auto cannon predator, and I just chucked them on there. But for those of you who don't know what a, uh, a heavy las cannon is, it's essentially a, a las cannon um, with strength 10 instead of strength nine, and AP minus four, instead of AP minus three, and every wound of a six does a mortal wound, and it's and it's twin, so that's what that does. Now, the reason why I'm taking them, plus the hell brutes, is there's a bit of a synergy going on, and I want to talk to you about that synergy kind of right now, right, with Alpha Legion. So, essentially, essentially what it is, right, you have the Dredeo Dreadnought in the middle, you back him up with just a normal Chaos Lord, no up to, up, upgrades, right, and he gives you a reroll to hit to one, right? I considered putting a warp sif up the back there too, but I just needed the points for an extra terminator. Um, so that when I do my deep strike for my um for my Hydra Elite, um, I have those re-rolls there. Um and so but and, and so but mind you, those those plasma combis are rapid fire as well. So each terminator is getting two plasma shots. It's pretty good. So um so basically, yeah, um, and the, the thing is about him, he's got a rocket launcher, and he, which is modeled on there, it's converted on there. That's just a crappy Dreadnought from the, the, um, from the Talons of the Emperor kit, by the way, um, which I just converted over. And, um, and that's going to be awesome. But the thing is with him, why I didn't just give him another Hellbrute? He's got 14 wounds. Hellbrute's only got 8 wounds, right? It would have been a lot cheaper to put another Hellbrute in there. However, however... This, this Dredeo Dreadnought um, is basically going to... Um, he has got something really unique. He's got this force field, which is called the Automatic... I think it's Automatic Pervase. And um, the Automatic Pervase, what it does is essentially it gives him uh, and everybody around him within six a five up invulnerable save. So that's my fire base. My whole fire base is plus one a hit and if they've all got a five, uh, a five up um, in invulnerable. Now that's any legion unit, so I can have havocs up the back as well. And all those havocs, they're going to be plus four, uh, one to hit. So that means guardsmen are hitting them on fives, right? And um, and then also they're going to have a five up invul, right? So if anyone, if so, those hell brutes have all of a sudden just become a lot tougher. They've also come down in points in chapter approved, right? So they used to be really not worth it, but I'm just seeing a gem here with them because the Hellbrit 60, 60 points. Um, the Las Cannons have come down to twin Las Cannons are now 40 points. And then the Rocket Launchers are 20 points. It's 120 points, right? For an eight wound um, uh, Dreadnought, then it's essentially, and you put him in cover, so he's going to have a two up save, not a three up save, normal save. Um, and then there's something else which is awesome about the Hellbrit too. So, if he goes, and those are the Alpha Legion perks, but with a Hellbrute, if he takes a wound, 
whether he wounds himself from a plasma shot or whether, like, he takes a wound from the enemy, um, he will basically, on a six up, fire again, even in your opponent's turn. So, for example, if my opponent turns around and says, all right, oh, gee, that fire base up the back there is pretty uber. I better start attacking it, though, because it's going to crush me. Um, yeah, sure, he shoots his las cannon, you know, at my, at my hell brute. You know, he strips off, uh, you know, six wounds off it. And, um, you know, he gets through my invulnerable saves and everything. He rolls double fives, right? You know, it's five to hit, all right, on guards. Fours if you're Marines. And, um, and then it's like, okay. And then he takes a hit. I roll a six. Shoots back. There's another twin last cannons of rocket launcher for free on my turn before he dies. So he's just earned his points back right there and then. So even if he dies, it doesn't matter because I've already literally taken his shot for the for the next turn. So it's not exactly something to bank on, right? Like you don't want to take it to the bank, but it's a mad bonus. And um, so yeah, so right now I've got it configured. So I've got two hell brutes, the Dredeo Dreadnought, and I know that's not the Dredeo, I know that's a, that's the Condemptor, right? But I've just I'm got I'm gonna order the model from Forge World. That's just a proxy for now, right? And um, and then I'm going to have Havocs at the back, Chaos Lord, and they're all in a, in a little bubble. I might even add to that. You can chop and change that, do whatever you want. Then I've got my, then I've got my Cultus, my Blob of 40 Cultus, and then I've got another 10 Cultus, another 10 Cultus, um, and then I've got my two HQs, which is a Chaos Lord, the Chaos Lord in Terminator armor, right? And then the Sorcerer, so there's three of them, that's okay. There's five command points right there. Three command points of being battle forged. Then I've got a sorcerer, and then I've got a uh, the terminators as well, the Hydra Elite. So it brings me up to around about one thousand three hundred something points, which is a lot. But I now still have another seven hundred points odd to put into whatever I want. I could go through. I could put it into Black Legion. I could put it into um, Alpha Legion. But um, I'm even thinking about putting it into a Thousand Suns. So I'm thinking about like I think. You know, Arimon and two of his sorcerers smiting around, um, and maybe even Rubric Marines or something like that, are going to do me a lot better than maybe Black Legion. Because the problem is, like, yeah, look, I really want to paint some Black Legion up, and I love them, and I assembled the whole box, but the Shadow Spear box. But the thing is, is again, like, yeah, I get they can assault and, and, and shoot, which is pretty cool if they're like Terminators. Um, so move and shoot, or their, their weapons become assault. But you know, again, like there's there's other units that can do things better. They've got Abaddon, but you know, Abaddon now with the new sniper rules is is kind of is kind of I don't know. It's risky because you know anyone anyone knows you're going to play Black Legion right now. They know they're going to take Abaddon, right? You're going to take Abaddon. So it kind of becomes a little bit risky, and it's kind of like well, sort of like you know, what do you do? So. Those are kind of like my thoughts on um, on my. That's my list so far. I don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna fill it with yet. yet. I'm gonna don't know if I'm gonna do Black Legion um, or if I'm gonna do a Thousand Suns. I'm still working it out. I'm also giving the um, the Lord up the back the Teeth of the Hydra, which is the relic. But what I'm thinking about doing is just is just getting Black Legion for now, getting Abaddon 240 points, and literally just getting a whole bunch of another. Another, like, lot of cultists, right? And then maybe just Chaos Space Marines and then just, like, march them up the board. Or, like, march the Chaos Space Marines up the board, um, but then, like, Abaddon sort of comes in later and um, and then, you know, and then Deep Strike somewhere and maybe Abaddon will just go on alone. Maybe Abaddon is just going to, like, land somewhere and, and jump in and I'll just put some maybe... I mean, that's not a bad idea, actually. So, Black Legion, I'll just put some... Uh, oh, Blood Letters. Guys, so Blood Letters. So, that, that's actually what I want to do. So, Blood Letters are really cool. So, um, they got the Corn keyword, the Chaos. Um, but what you want to be doing, in my opinion, is with Abaddon, like, it, having Black Legion Chaos Space Marines doesn't really work so well, in my opinion, at all. But, like, especially when you've got some... You'd rather take Blood Letters, right? Blood letters are like seven points. If you take like 20 of them, yeah, more than 20 of them, um, they then get, let me just check this rule, I don't want to lie to you. 
You add one of the hit rolls if there's 20 or more, which is fantastic. But I suppose, you know, if you've got Abbott on, like you don't even need you don't even need that. But I'm not sure if I don't think the keyword transfers over. Um, because his keywords not Black Legion. That's a problem again. Abaddon should have been re-roll ones for the entire, like all the legions. You know, like he, like he's the friggin' war master for frig's sake, right? It's like he should. He's not just black. He's the war master. He's undivided, right? So that's kind of a bit of stuff up in, in there, if, if you ask me, for GW. Um, but anyway, the, the, the demons. But again, like, why would I do that? I could just put him in my, my Alpha Legion army. Like, why would I sort of miss out on my plus one to hit? Um, but anyway, blood letters are really cool. Take them in there as, as a detachment. Um, you could even make, because they're troops, you can even have them in there, um, like, you know, maybe 20, so like three lots of 20. Or three lots of 25, if you don't want to do like 30. You know, give yourself a little bit of a buffer, so that if a few get killed, then you can still uh, add one of your wound roll. Uh, sorry, hit roll. But um, if they charge or get charged, they also go to strength, plus one strength and plus one attack. So they go to two attacks and they go to strength five. Um, the Blood Reaper, which is like the sergeant of the, um, of the Blood Letters, goes up to uh, three attacks. But here's the kicker. This is the really awesome part. So um, the really awesome part about it is, is number one, they've got a five up invo on their own. So it's like, again, why would I take Chaos Space Marines? Better off getting these guys, either summoning them on the board, or um, or just basically like, you know, just, just running them up. You know, and it will take firepower, or, uh, you know, bullet magnet, right? But the awesome part is, is uh, Demonic Icon. So, um, if you roll a one, when making a morale test for the for a unit with Demonic Icons, Reality blinks and the demonic horde is bolstered. No models flee, right? So if you're one, you automatically pass your morale test. And D6 slain blood letters are instead added to the unit. So they can come back. That's epic. So any time where you're getting free points, where you're resurrecting stuff, that's what you want to be doing. Tide of the traitors, um, you know, cultists. Yeah, yeah, you wiped them out. That's 200 points. But Tire of the Traders, they come back. So, even that going along here, um, I'm just looking, I'm just going to make sure that Tire of the Traders isn't, can only, can only be used once. Um... You can, so, yeah, use this strategy on the end of your movement phase. If you do pick a unit of Chaos, Chaos Coldus and remove it from the battlefield, you can then set it up again wholly within six of the edge of the battlefield and more than nine away from enemy models at full starting strength. So you can use it more than once. So per turn. So like, sorry, yeah. So you can only use it once per turn because you only use strategies once per turn. But you can use it more than once per game. So... Um, it's two command points, but if you've got enough of them, that's epic. Now, you imagine you've got Black Legion cultists, or even another set of Alpha Legion cultists, and it's literally, all right, they just got wiped out, and then two command points, the whole unit just comes back on. Six away from the edge of the board. Crazy. You're just getting, like, you know, yeah, you're turning your 2,000-point army into a 2,500-point army, so... It's really good. Um, maybe that's maybe that's what I might do. So, I believe cultists their weapon skill was three. So, let's have a look because I could make them black legion cultists. That kind of work. So, ah uh, no, the ballistic skill is four. Right. So that kind of sucks a bit. Um, but again, it's not too bad. So that's where you might want Abaddon there. So you could maybe surround him by Abaddon and he just re-rolls all those hits and it just becomes lethal. lethal. So I'm thinking Abaddon in the middle, Black Legion, with a block of 40 cultists and then maybe just like two squads of, um, you know, 10 cultists or something just to get your CP. Maybe you can also take like a, 
a dark apostle or something um, with him as well, or just to get your just to get your um, your five CP from that, which would be awesome. So yeah, um, yeah, fantastic. All right, so yeah, okay, everybody. So that's that's pretty much uh, my list and uh, where it's heading so far. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas or if you think like I'm wrong about anything or you think there's a way that I can improve this list. Um, some of the things I've spoke, uh, thought about taking are like more, more of things. Um, I've thought about doing a few things. Maybe I'm taking too much Alpha Legion. Maybe I've got too much Firebase. But I know Imperial Guard, they're usually going to take armor of some type. So it's kind of like, you know... I don't know, maybe those Dreadnoughts are enough. Maybe I don't need the extra squads of Havocs, two of Missile Launchers, two of Laz. Um, let me know, let me know what the comment, your comments are below. Uh, your opinions are below in the comments. Um, and uh, yeah, all right, everybody, fantastic. I'll catch you in the next video, most likely tomorrow, where I'll do the announcement for the 800 subscriber draw. And uh, I'm going to get back to... Uh, I'm going to get back to working on these Alpha Legion minis. It's fantastic. Just a reminder, everybody. Um, so you can follow me on Instagram as well. All right, Command Center Wargaming Instagram. Uh, there's also a link uh, over in the About section there and the channel. Um, and I'll drop a link in the in the description as well. Um, I, what I do is, is when I'm not making videos, I'll post updates of my painting, uh, like pictures, progress reports, things like that, up there on my Instagram. All right, so I just thought it's a really cool way to do it um, because, you know, it allows me to paint, you know, and actually do, you know, the hobby while making videos as well because a lot of the stuff that, like, you know, I, I can show you here on the YouTube, I could do on the Instagram as well. So, um, all right, everybody, fantastic, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.